Hello, this is Keegan, and today I want to go over a workflow video that you would use to either grade papers or maybe review research articles or really any other PDF document directly on your iPad. And the reason you may want to do this is, well, there's a couple. Uh, first off, you could carry less paper with you, so if you're carrying dozens or hundreds of sheets of it, uh, that'd save you a lot of, a lot of hassle. But you could also just save paper in general. So those are a couple of things that I would offer for why you would utilize this workflow. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna jump over to the iPad and the app I'm gonna use to do this is Notability, but there are several other here that you could utilize and there are many more than this. You just need an app that you can go into and you can annotate over a PDF document is what you would be looking for. So let's go ahead and jump into Notability here. And as soon as that loads. So first off, what we need to do is we need to get our document either the, from the computer or from some source into this app. So there's a few buttons here, and this one right here is the Import button. So I have several options here, and you could open into this app from another app as well or from an email document or something like that but I'm going to go directly from the uh, importing options in the app itself so I'm going to select Dropbox here and then what should come up are these are the folders in my Dropbox and if you want some information on how to set up a Dropbox and what that can do for you click on the annotation or the link in the description down below anyways so what I'm going to do is I have this free article from Wikipedia that I'm going to create a new note with. And I'm going to you take all seven pages because I want to write over all seven pages. And I know that's been imported because there's now a check mark next to that. So I'm going to hit done here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is this is that document here. And I'm going to go into edit a second because I'm going to rename it as something else. So that way this will be Washington's edit. So this will be that file. So done. Okay. So now I'm going to go into my file and when I re-upload it now, I will know the difference between my original and then this edited one. So I'm going to open this up. And in this application, there are several tools that you can use to annotate documents. There are uh, typing and writing and highlighting and all sorts of stuff. So you could type or any of those things. But what I'm going to do is as I go through and as I read this, I'm going to make my notes and talk about different things. Or if I'm grading a student paper, uh, give them feedback, the appropriate feedback. And then maybe at the end of it, what I'll do is I'll even assign my grade here. So they got an 8 out of 10 on this assignment. And that's fine. So I have, I've finished my annotations. I have all of that done. And now what I want to do is I want to get this document back onto my computer so I could either share it with, with the student or so that I can organize it in all of my computer files or, or whatever. Or maybe I want to send it to a colleague. So... This button here where the arrow is going outside of the box or the iPad is an export button and you can just push that right back to Dropbox or you could email it from here but I'm going to push it right back to Dropbox and I'm going to select my destination which will just be I'll just do the general folder and I'm going to do the PDF and send to Dropbox. So now I'm going to send that to Dropbox and what you should see is now on this Windows and Mac is in your Dropbox you should be able to see both the original file and then the edited one that I just pushed out so now I have both of those and I can open up that edited one and you can see on this on the Mac here I have those annotations those marks now integrated into my document so that's that's really what this allows you to do. You can go in and you can electronically mark up documents and do anything you would do with colored pencils and highlighters and those kinds of things, but you have the added benefit of not having to 
utilize all that paper or carrying around all that extra equipment. This app allows you to do all that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like or comment or question and I'll get back with you when I can. Thank you.